Run! If we do not fight this day, there will be a generation of terror, and the gods will unleash horrors of the old age. So any man here who would be a Viking, follow me! gave you the gift of life because of her love of you. For years you let her world with your love, the ultimate love, that between a man and a goddess. I'm playing um, uh, a noble Viking called Eric. He's a warrior who happens to be in love with a goddess Eric goes off to a battle and uh, dies, and uh, he's paid a visit one day by the god Freya, who asks him to go on a quest to save civilization. My lord Beothric, he is mortally wounded. And in the middle of all of this, uh, you know, he needed help from um, certain Vikings and went out out there and uh, sought help and got other Vikings involved, and that became known as the Fellowship. Brynna the Fair, daughter of Hildegard, Reed of Wind. Brynna is, is a captain of the boat that Eric uses uh, to get to his destination, and she has a little bit of a struggle with Eric at first because she's a woman, and much as she wants to fight with the man, Eric kind of, at the beginning of the movie, uses her being a woman against her. So she doesn't like Eric at first, and throughout the movie they gain each other's respect. You'll do as ordered as any man here will? She's a tough girl with a lot of integrity, and by the end of the movie she basically falls in love with him. Hi, my name is Yusri Halim. I'm director of Vikingdom. Action! Vikingdom is loosely based on um, Viking tales and um, Norse mythology. Pagan gods are angry, especially one god in particular, Thor. The only thing can, can, that can stop Thor is by blowing the horn of Odin, which is unfortunately located in Hell. Only an undead can pass through Helheim and return to meet God. I'm Yasha Senegalia and I'm the head of FIST actually. It's a uh, film industry stunt training facility and team that actually run off the Gold Coast. Good we actually hired a stunt crew from Australia under Yasha and he, they did a really good job. I'm really happy and really pleased to actually work with them. Overall stunts for the films, uh, fight sequences, a lot of cable work, underwater sequences, horse sequences, mainly battle, big battle sequences. It was quite difficult to try and schedule and find the time to, to rehearse the actors, to, to block through the fights. Three, two, one, action! We, we did do so, so it was really good. Dominic, uh, Craig, uh, Natasha and uh, John Fu were fantastic. They were all really, really keen, really, really helpful with the fights. Um, even helpful in a way of, of helping with, with their own little bits of Cory. You know, everybody moves differently, so for us to, to create moves for them, um, and these were moves that we'd sort of we'd built before we even, we even met them. So the Cory we're, we're putting together doesn't necessarily fit their movement. So the feedback that we're getting back from them you know, is really, really important to, to help them remember the Cory for the fight sequences as well. Uh, 
as with any other movies that's being released internationally, we have a 2D version, also a 3D version. It was shot as a 3D movie, although not the whole time, simply because we have battle scenes, the camera had to go on horses, on, on quad bikes, and even underwater scenes, which is very, uh, not that it's possible, it's more time consuming, and sometimes it is impossible. So those scenes were actually converted to 3D. Okay, the reason why we have two cameras uh, is because one is left eye, one is right eye. So when you're shooting stereoscopic, you need two images that will be stereo graded to create into two overlapping images. So when you put on either a polarized uh, 3D glasses, it will appear in 3D. My name is Eric O. I'm the cinematographer or director of photography on Vikingdom. Yeah, so one of the things that we used with the Steadicam was also had it mounted on ATV for fast tracking shots. This is a method of getting tracking shots that I was accustomed to in Canada. So for horse riding sequences, for some of the battle sequences, we had the uh, Steadicam mounted on ATV so we can get nice uh, stabilized shots that were also fast moving. Yeah. 